boxer and mixed martial artist Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God's message. We have a message that God call holy. Holy. Well, Pastor Jennings, you, no, 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 don't blame it on Pastor Jennings. God called it holy. That's right. And God said for us not to please ourselves. ourselves. Now, when you're not holy, when you're not holy, <laughs> when you don't have holy teaching, when you're not in the holy church, and you don't have a holy preacher, and you don't believe in the holy book, yes. and no one is standing for the holy word, yeah. then you got to have a church full of sinners. That's right. P pull that out. Pull that out and put it to the front there. Just, just pull it out. Slide it on out, brother. Slide it out. Slide it, out. <laughs> Slide it right there. Right there. Just right there is good enough. My Lord. This is in some of y'all church. That's right. Thank God for television. This is in some of y'all church. This is in some of y'all homes. That's right. Now, your pastor is telling you Jesus' birthday is coming on the 25th. Amen. Your pastor is a liar. Amen. The Bible ain't never said Jesus was born December 25th. Yeah. Not only is your pastor a liar, your mama. That's right. You talk about my mama? Your mama. Amen. Your daddy. Children, there is no Santa Claus. Right. Your mama or your daddy bought them presents. Right. There is no Santa Claus. Right. There ain't no man four and five hundred pounds coming down your chimney and live and talk about it. <laughs> Not today. Amen. Stop lying. This is heathenism. Heathenism. This is paganism. That's right. This ain't got nothing to do with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 10th chapter book of Jeremiah real quick. Let me read it. Jeremiah 10, we'll start at verse 1. Come on, son. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Hear ye the word of the Lord that's coming to you now, Dover, Delaware, and the world. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith Geno Jennings. Thus saith the Lord. You hear this now? You Thus got to be a hypocrite to go back to your church tomorrow. Mm. You got to be a child of hell. That's when right. you go back home tonight, when you look at you, when you drive up to your house and see it all lit up and that fake manger got down there. Hey, tell me, who's that little dirty, ugly baby you got on your lawn? Who's that dirty, ugly, plastic baby That's right. you got on your lawn Amen. and on your church grounds? Amen. Now, you may be ignorant, but do you know when you got a baby and you claim it's Jesus, you blasphemed? That's right. Because Jesus Christ is God and God said, make no image of me. Image of me. Who told you? See, that's blasphemy. Why is it, Pastor Jennings? God ain't no baby. That's right. When Jesus walked this earth, he ain't still no baby. No. Who told you he had blind hair, blue eyes, and white skin? Yeah. Who told you he was light skinned or brown skinned with dreadlocks? Yeah. You ain't never met him. That's right. He ain't walking the streets of Delaware. <laughs> Who told you he had curly locks? That's right. Who told you he had little pudgy toes? Amen. Who told you that he had little old fat knees? Yeah. Who told you he had plaques in his hair? <laughs> you bunch of heathens. Hear ye the word. You bunch of Dover, Delaware heathens. That's right. And when you go back home, you take that manger and collect it and put it in a plastic bag and set it out on trash day. <laughs> Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, that's the Christian thing. That's paganism. Amen. That's idolatry. Yeah. Who told you Mary looked like that? Yeah. Who told you Joseph looked like that? That's right. I want you to get the old troublemaker. I want to bring you back the Bible and get you away from these foolish church traditions. That's right. 
Everybody go hungry all year, then the church get a spell from hell and want to give out turkeys in December. <laughs> hungry all year long. All year long, folks is hungry. And then the church get a spell from hell. And all of a sudden, want to get involved in the community, you That's bunch true. of heathens. Amen. Jesus stayed involved. Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yes, he did. You see, folks ain't used to this kind of preaching. They used to Joel Allstein smiling all day long. You know, I, when, I, when I see my son and, and he bring me a glass of water, I just think, how fortunate. That's, right. That's what he does. You listen to Joel Allstein, T.D. Jakes, Fred Price, Creffler, O'Dollar. You people don't read the Bible. Every man of God in the Bible spoke out against the ills of society and spoke out against sin. These men you watch on television that you fall in love with don't mention sin, don't speak against sin. Only one message they got and it didn't come from God. Right. It came from the devil and it centered around money. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Only a faker will come before the people and say, God says for you to bless me with a jet. Yeah. And you church go and suck us fall for it. Mm -hmm. Let Pastor Jenny say, the Lord says he need a jet. Somebody will probably send me a model. <laughs> and they won't even have all the pieces. Uh, How is it that society, you see I am, I'm from the hood. Like Brother Craig said, I'm from the hood. And any of you from the hood, you know a hustle when you see it. Oh, yes. How is it that many of you people are so educated? You are so educated, you can't see a racket. Church is the biggest racket in the world. And the reason why you cannot see the racket going on in your church, you don't know the Bible. The devil went in church business. That's why you got all these religions in the world. The devil's in church business. Oh, yeah. You talking about you were in a Christian home and you got a bar? Mm. A Christian home with a six pack of beer. <laughs> a Christian home and you smoke cigarettes. That's right. A Christian home smoking pipes. Yeah. A Christian home and you got the symbol of a heathen. Amen. Finish up Jeremiah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. What did God tell us? Thus saith the Lord. I want you to judge yourself tonight, Delaware. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. What? Learn not the way of the heathen. I want you to judge yourself and ask yourself, are you a heathen tonight? Amen. A heathen. Heathen. Not a Christian. A heathen. That's right. Yeah. A heathen. Yeah. Not a Christian. <laughs> a heathen. Heathen. I want to emphasize on the H, a heathen. That's right. Huh? I want you to. I want you to get the breeze. The Bible says Jesus breathed on them. That's right. A heathen. Amen. Judge yourself now. Amen. Judge yourself. Yeah. All of you that say Jesus was born December twenty fifth, you lied on the Son of Man. That's right. You lied on the Messiah. Right. You lied on Christ. Yeah. When you go to a church and your preacher got to preach a sermon, you got a heathen for a yeah. pastor. Yeah. In fact, if any of you here are pastors here in Dover, Delaware, and that's what you told the people, use a heathen. That's a heathen. Use a Pentecostal or apostolic or Baptist or non-denominational or Lutheran or Mormon. Heathen. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read to Dover, Delaware, what the heathens do here. For the customs of the people are vain. Anything that's vain is no good. No good. What do they do, son? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Oh. Cut it. You ain't got to cut it now. Yeah. They cut it for you and sell it to you. That's right. They cut the tree down at the forest. What they do, son? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What they do? They deck it. With what? With silver and with gold. Deck it. Deck it. And what did God call them that do this? Learn not the way of the heathen. And what do the heathen do to the tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. 
Right there. Fa la 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 la. Now all mother, mother, father, son, don't all happy. Rudolph the fool, nose reindeer. He never had a shiny nose. You sang a liar, just like you tell one, you liar. That's a lie. Amen. You lie. You thought you was a Christian, didn't you? Mm -hmm. The word Christian means being like Christ. That's right. What do Christ and Christmas got in common? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Because Christ is not a heathen. That's right. He ain't never left on record when his birthday was. No. Never. Never. Amen. Customs of the people are never. Give me the first chapter book of Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's see what month did Gabriel came, came to, to Mary. Mary. That's right. That's right. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 26. Move quick. And in the sixth month. In the sixth month. The angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And what? To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. Now, Gabriel came to Mary in the sixth month. In the sixth month. So that means she conceived in the sixth month. That's right. With the English calendar, the sixth month will be June. That's right. June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, March. Fe February. Febu February. February. March. <laughs> You still don't have, that's a whole different season coming. That's right. That's right. They don't care. No. Six months. In the sixth month, the angel, the angel Gabriel the was angel sent from God. The angel Gabriel was sent from God. Unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Sixth month. In the sixth month the he sixth came. Sixth month. That's right. It didn't even give the date of the sixth month of the conception. No. It just said the sixth month. That's right. You bunch of heathens. Amen. Now go home to your lighted up house. <laughs> go home to your light up house. Amen. Because when you leave tonight, you know you're a heathen and not a Christian. Heathen. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I'm a Christian. I don't care what you say. Give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter. Wait a minute. Where? Jeremiah. No. Jennings. Jeremiah. Gino Jennings. Jeremiah. Gino Jennings. Jeremiah. I didn't call you a heathen. Mm. Jeremiah. <laughs> That's right. The prophet Jeremiah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto Who you. Who said it? The Lord speaketh unto you. The Lord said it you. through Jeremiah. You got Santa. If you listen at what they say about Santa, they put him in competition with God. Yes, they do. Because according to the Bible, God knows what you're thinking. <laughs> That's right. It is God that knows whether you've been bad or good. Amen. And it is God that's everywhere. Yeah. God didn't make reindeer to fly. Santa is everywhere. Yeah. In one night, he's everywhere. <laughs> you bunch of lying heathens. Amen. If there was a man named Scrooge, he had the right spirit until three devils came. To him. <laughs> when the three devils came to him, he got nice too. Amen. If there was, if there was a real Scrooge, he was all right. Okay. When he was against Christmas. Yeah. That goes to show you what happened to you when you go through these churches and they got Christmas wreaths on the door, Christmas wreaths all on your house, and you talking about a Christian family. <laughs> you are a bunch of heathens. Thus saith the, the Lord. The Bible speaks plain, you lying Dover, Delaware heathens. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Read what the heathens do. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. What do the heathens do? For the customs of the people are vain. Ha. You may as well go take your stuff back to Best Buy. Oh as well right. take your stuff back to Best Buy, Radio Shack, Walmart, and Target, and Kohl's, and Macy's, and JC with her pennies. <laughs> Amen. You may as well take your gift cards back. Yeah. You heathen. Amen. You are a bunch of heathens. That's right. When you holy, you don't give gifts to celebrate a lie. You don't accept exactly. gifts. Right. You don't have, you don't participate in Christmas parties on your job. That's right. You don't even bake nothing for the party on the job. That's right. Anything that endorses Christmas, God's people take a Bible stand because we refuse to be heathens. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. 
Are you listening? Amen. 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 But you look at Joel Austin and T.D. Jakes, they have all the choirs on television singing Christmas carols. Oh, yeah. Bunch of heathens. That's right. I'm going to point you to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm going to point you to the Bible. If you don't want the Bible, stop telling people you're a Christian. Right. See, the people want the parts of the Bible that don't hurt them. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want him. Daniel in the lion's den, and Meshach, Shadrach. And a bendigo. That don't hurt you. No. John the Baptist was in Jordan baptizing people. That no. don't hurt you. No. Preacher that tell you that all day because he know that stuff don't touch your sin. That's right. You will sit there with your second wife and blow kisses at her while he talk about Meshach, Shadrach, and a bendigo. Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. For the customs of the people are vain. What you done was vain. I come here to ruin your Christmas. Humbug. <laughs> Amen. We're going to ruin it. Ruin it. You ruin stop. It. You, you come out. You love your children. If you love your children, tell them the truth. Yeah. Why would you take them down to a mall to sit on the lap of a pervert? That's right. That's right. You got your daughter standing between a, the legs of a man you don't even know? Yeah. You got your son sitting on the lap of some old pervert? That's right. What's the matter with you? That's right. You're supposed to be a protector for your children. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I listen to the old troublemaker. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Look at that tree and think of what's in your house. Amen. Uh -huh. You left your house. All them lights still blinking. <laughs> <laughs> you heathen. That's right. You thinking about it while we're preaching. You heathen. Amen. What is that? For the customs of the people are vain. You thought you did something. Some of these fool people go try to compete with each other in the neighborhood. Yes, they will. Got they door, got lights on the doorknob, lights all on the roof. That's right. Lights trimming the shape of the windows, light trimming the shape of the house. Yeah. Every, like a bunch of trash all on the on the house. Yeah. All lit up. <laughs> and then want everybody to pray that God would give them a miracle blessing to pay the light bill. That's right. <laughs> you heathen. Heathen. Huh? Amen. Hey Amen. This is a soul stirring message. <laughs> I want to call you back to Bible. That's right. Because the church got away from the Bible and God made me deal with things to pull you back to the Bible. Amen. No need to shout and no need jumping, no need falling out. Come on back to Bible so you can be sure that you're on the right journey to the kingdom of God. That's right. It ain't no such thing. You going to heaven anyway. No. Nobody going to heaven anyway. No, no. It ain't nobody going to step a foot in the kingdom unless you come on the Bible order that God left here. That's right. If God say stop, you going to stop. Yeah. If God say go, you going to go. Oh yes. If God say he's one, everybody got to say he's one. That's right. That's right. If God didn't say he's a trinity, ain't no need for you to say it. Amen. If God didn't say he's white, shut your white mouth up. Yeah. If God didn't say he's black, close your black lips up. That's right. That's right. Whatever God said, that's it. Amen. If God didn't say be sprinkled, you might as well close down your upright toilet bowl. Yeah. If God never said join the church, you ain't in no church. That's right. If God didn't say he's a Baptist, you might as well stop claiming it. That's right. That's right. If you really mean to go back with Jesus, then come on and respect the Bible that you claim you believe in. Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. For the customs of the people are very quick. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. And what they do? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Uh, they idolize that thing too, don't they? Yeah. Sometime mother and father just sit that's in the living room and drinking coffee. Huh. Looking at the tree. Admiring it. That's right. Huh? Admiring it. Idolizing it. Yeah. Just looking at it. <laughs> uh huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. <laughs> They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Eh? They must needs be born because they cannot go. All right, let's go. I want you to judge yourself and ask yourself, are you a heathen tonight? Amen. A heathen. Heathen. Not a Christian, a heathen. That's right.
Yeah, a heathen. Yeah. Not a Christian. A heathen. Heathen. I want to emphasize on the H. A heathen. That's right. Huh? I want you to I want you to get the breeze. The Bible says Jesus breathed on them. That's right. A heathen. <laughs> Amen. Judge yourself now. Amen. Judge yourself.